previously on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Shinobi execution! Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to some more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In the last episode we finally defeated Lady Butterfly which I'm so happy about. Once I listened to your guys' tips and tactics, we managed to take her down pretty easy, literally first try, so I'm very happy with that. We then made our way into the Sunken Valley, I think it's called, and we came across another mini boss which just kicked our ass. like. Yeah, there were just guns firing at us from all directions. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm tempted to skip over him. I'm not really sure because I like to defeat the mini bosses because obviously you get prayer beads and that way you can upgrade your vitality and your strength. So that's why I generally tend to not want to skip over mini bosses. But if I can't find a way to defeat him, I might come back to him later on. I don't think it's that big a deal because I haven't really skipped any yet. We still have the undead guy, the headless dude. We went and faced him once and then yeah, it, it didn't go well. We do have the um, the item we need to make him, I guess, hittable? Is that a word? Hittable? It didn't go great. I do want to go back and try it, but I also don't want to use up all the items in case we need them later on, which is a concern. Before we get started, a quick shout out to Patron of the Day, Draka. Thank you so much, Draka, for becoming a patron. Without your guys' help and support, I couldn't do this full time. So with your help, I can continue doing daily uploads for you. And I know you've been a long time supporter of me, Draka, so I'm very appreciative. Thank you so much. And so guys, let's get into the gameplay. But I actually forgot to mention before we got started here that I do want to go back to the dilapidated temple. Because did we get a gold seed? I'm pretty sure we got a gold seed and then I didn't go back and give it to Emma. So we'll just double check that and I wanted to do some practicing with the zombie guy. You guys were like, Alice, stop playing this like Bloodborne, stop dodging, you need to learn to parry, you need to learn to do the Mikari, deflect, whatever it is. So we're going to spend like 5-10 minutes trying to figure out that stuff. それは血の淀みです。何故血が淀む人が人として生きるための当たり前の力を奪われています。故に血が淀むのでしょう。どうやって直す？奪ったものを返せばいい。これを受け取ってください。Oh, we got dragon's blood droplet. Blah blah blah. Dragon's blood droplet again. Oh, we got a recovery charm. Charm. A dragon rock recovery charm created by Emma. With this charm, one can offer a dragon's blood droplet at a sculptor's idol to restore all afflict of the dragon rock back to health. The charm contains a dragon rock victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a bloodstone. So that's why we need to get all the blood things for. The recovery charm allows dragon rock sufferers to be healed from a sculptor's idol. A dragon's blood droplet can be consumed to heal dragon rock from all those afflicted. Doing so will cause all rot essence to disappear, returning the chances of receiving unseed aid to the default value. Cool. But now we actually need to give you this gourd seed. Yeah! We did have another one. Okay, so I'm feeling I'm gonna go use this recovery charm. The Dragon Restoration menu is now unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. Consuming a, a dragon's blood droplet will restore to health all those afflicted with the dragon roll. I've done a lot, so yeah, I feel bad. We're going to be healing the dragon rot from you lovely people. And then this rest. Okay, let's go see the sculptor and see if he's gotten any better. Hopefully he has. 
前さんどうやら古い記憶が目覚めたようじゃなおお巫女様を見た<笑>そうかい司祭は聞かぬし語りもするな見えたものは己のうちにとどめておくもんじゃ武士殿はそこの仏で何かが見えたのかお前さん人の話を聞いてたかどうなのだ炎じゃ炎、ええ、何を備えようともそれしか見え一面のアシナを焼き尽くすような炎それはこの話はしまいじゃ Give drink? Treat to unrefined sake. I don't know if I want to do that yet.、Mm. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing. Sorry about that, Kurt. I just moved my screen up because it was too low down. <laughs> Um, okay, right. Also, we forgot to do the Lady Butterfly memory. We forgot to do a few things last episode. Um, enhanced attack power. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. The Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in shinobi techniques. These mentors employ strict methods. The cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved in the midst of battle. Okay, attack power has been enhanced. Woo! Okay, let's head to this guy and practice some of the techniques, I guess. Okay, Bakiri counter. A shinobi can perceive incoming thrust attacks and counter them by stepping on the enemy blade. Known as Makiri counter, this is, a this is a powerful if risky move that deals more partial damage than the regular deflect. Use Makiri counter to perform three death blows. So don't. don't step forward. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Do we need to do anything else? Let's just try a few little deflects to get into the deflecting mood. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting an enemy's attacks also damages their posture, and a master shinobi will both deflect and attack. Deflect enemy attacks and perform three death blows. Good stars. Oh my god! Great at this. I think I tried to do it exactly on the point, and I just need to do it a bit sooner. Okay, cool. Okay, we got some practice in. I feel a bit more confident now with the Makiri counter. Why is that still empty? I have no idea how to use that. Okay, so. I don't really know where to head now. I don't know whether to go to the headless guy or. I don't know. I think I do want to try the headless guy again, but it's a bit risky. So, 
Mm, screw it. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out again. Okay, we're back here again. Um, this will be my last attempt on it because I know he feels this like my character with terror. Um, and I have no idea how to counteract that. Shit. That's <laughs> a wrecked! Shit. Where's he gone? Oh! <laughs> I feel like we can do him. I just don't know how to get rid of the terror. So I feel like we're going to come back to him when we know how to combat the terror. I haven't got. I looked at my inventory, and there's nothing that's like reduces terror. <laughs> so I don't think he's going to be good to fight at the moment. I don't know. I feel like we can do it, but I'm just worried about wasting all my my stuff. Unseen aid. Woo. Okay, we're gonna come back to that dude until we can reduce terror. But let's actually just head back to the sunken valley and try and take on the gun dude. <laughs> we'll give him a few attempts, but I might need your help and advice with that one. I haven't actually uploaded the previous episode yet, so I'm sure you guys will leave comments and stuff helping me out because I try and not upload quickly so I can get your guys' advice as well. But it's hard because I need to like make videos for when um, I'm away at the weekend and shit. Okay, anyway, you don't care. <laughs> I'm just fucking chatting shit, aren't I? Ugh. Fucking hell. Kiri counter. <laughs> if I don't seem to damage him. Fuck. Uh. God damn you, snake eyes! Hmm, this isn't going well. <laughs> Okay, so as usual when we try these bosses, I'm gonna remove this one because that didn't work. We have loaded axe. So maybe we can try the loaded axe and then try the firecracker, see what is most effective against him. I do actually, oh, there's a shiny down there. I do wanna try and stealth him and get one bar off him. I feel like we might be able to do that if we're quick enough to dodge past him and not get shot to bits in this section. Right, let's go past him. Hopefully his health bar will disappear in a minute. They will see me. <laughs> I'm 
hands and he's still oh, okay right maybe let's try the other way i saw the ledge drop down with the shiny so maybe that's the best route to go oh shit you know the boss did you come down with me oh my god no, he didn't, but that's some random dude! <laughs> Fuck off! Ow! Oh my god, the guns are just redonkulous! <laughs> they are redonkulous! There's gotta be some way we can stealth at least one of the bars off him. I'm not giving up, guys. I know we can do it. I don't think that's the way to go. Woo! Okay. Maybe if I run away like really far and come back, it might work. Everyone's gonna see me though. I don't wanna run away that way. Okay, we're gonna try it. We've got nothing to lose apart from our life. Oh, okay, his health bar. Okay, he's gone. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh, ah, ah. Keep dodging! Okay, that's not the best tactic, is it, really? <laughs> I've already used two of my fucking things. Oh. Yeah! That's where you get snake eyes. Fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. <clears throat> I need to be more aggressive. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Don't dodge away. Deflect. Deflect, deflect, deflect. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Let's get the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, so the firecrackers did actually do something. I'm gonna try the loaded axe though before we really settle on using the firecrackers to help us choose this boss. Oh, and okay. He's gone. That one was way easier than the oh Fucking dickhead, honestly. I hate these gun people, they're making this impossible. Is not the one there, so we're just gonna die. <laughs> um, okay, firecrackers it is. I think the firecrackers are our best bet here to make him flinch a bit. Yeah.
I ran out of firecrackers, so that was not great. So happy right now. <laughs> Guys, we did it. I actually can't believe that. Ooh, I got pins and needles in my hands. Do you guys ever get that feeling when you defeat a boss? Oh, yes. I think I'm finally learning. That wasn't too, like, I mean, it took a few attempts to figure out what I was doing. We didn't even use the firecrackers, did we? No, we did. did we? I can't remember. Oh fuck, this ain't good. I right, still might go get across this fucking bridge. God. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Oh my god, there's a hole. Oh, this, this save. This save. Ow. I don't want to hear from here. Am I safe here? Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Um. We just damage posture. We already had that one. Okay, we're gonna pellet it up and let my health recover for a second. Jesus. They know I'm here. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get our bearings for a sec. Um. These guys are assholes, like for real. Hey, what's good? 
fucking. <gasps> I need a demon close. Okay, perfect. Right, that'll reset them all. We're gonna go back and work our way through them. I think it's gonna be so much easier not running across the bridge to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have five skill points to spend here. Um, what do I want? I don't know. That would be handy, the spirit emblems. Recovers vitality upon performing a successful death blow. Actually, I want that one. I like all the latent skills because obviously you don't have to use it for slot to use them. Okay, right. Now let's try and make our way through this area in reverse. I think if I don't deflect and I just keep hitting them, then it won't. They won't continue all of their move like Bloodborne style. I need to learn. I need to relearn that, that doesn't happen. Okay, but I'm getting shot to shit now. Jesus. Fuck. Okay, we did that way smoother. We're just gonna straight up die there. That is not worth resurrecting for. These ones are, enemies are super hard to kill as well. The difficulty level in just normal enemies has just shot up an insane amount. We can do this though. I'm glad I found this sculptor's idol though. And I'm glad we killed a boss. It's a successful episode if you managed to kill a boss. Right, and now there's two people aggroed on me. I'm gonna try and let it die down if I run away this way. Obviously not too far, so I wanna go back. Okay, here we go. It de aggroed. Go. Let's pick up all these items. Snap seeds. Some pellets. Yellow gunpowder. And heavy coin purse. Perfect. Just, okay. Getting my bearings. Anyone else super confused about what the fuck just happened? Because yeah, same. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. I am part of the wall. Okay. Turn around. Go on, turn around. Turn around. Okay, hopefully coming up here will de-aggro them. <laughs> Let's just run down here again. I think, honestly, that's one of the best tactics in this game. Just to fucking run away. <laughs> Me running away from all of my life problems. Okay, he's still there. Oh 
I'm not sure what this explosive thing is. Oh, I see it now. That's cool. Okay, I thought there must be a fair amount to explore around this area. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Scare me. <laughs> Goodbye, old lady. Reckon the old ladies. Okay, so there's definitely some people up top, up over here. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so blissfully unaware of shit like that. Okay, need to hug. Oh, hello. Over here, are you? Here! Yeah. <laughs> Scrap mang. mang. magnetite? Magnetic ore mined in a sheena. Base material com commonly used in prosthetic tool upgrades of intermediate and high rank. I think we'd already read that one before anyway. Can we go up any higher? Hmm. Don't think we can. This area pretty much explored. Oh God, oh God, hello. What's this little? Oh, that's the um. Okay. What's that down there, though? Shit. <laughs> I did not see this guy over here. Many of them, what the hell? We're all gonna die. Okay, now we need to figure our way back up. <laughs> I'm sort of finally getting used to the ledge hang. I still. Does anyone else like really struggle with it like me? Because I'm so bad at it. And this is the way you're supposed to get up in the first place. Right at the front. We went the unconventional way around, but it worked, okay. Right, let's head over to here, I guess. And see what lies ahead. How much money have we got on us? 467? Eh, that's not that much. We have quite a few, um... Coin passes, we have five heavy and nine lights. So if we do need to buy anything expensive, I think we'll have enough. What the fuck? Are you a friend? Oh my god! No! See where else we can go. Also, can we even go anywhere? This just looks like a fucking dead end. Oh no. I think that's the way we have to go forward. I don't really want to face that guy yet. Oh, 
Looks like a pit of despair down there. I'm tempted to go face the headless guy again. This literally is the only way. Okay. do this if we get the timing down correct it's just like June 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 <laughs> yeah it's faster than that and more badass than that but you get the idea I think we can't actually take this boss on firecracker seems to work <sighs> let's remove this um but this is actually gonna be really handy we'll try this to be perfectly done, I think. It's gotta be. We can do this. We can do this. I'm seeing a... Okay, I'm not gonna use the posture thing because I feel like it's gonna be a waste until I get this down. Boss fight. Parry, parry, parry. Get some more scrap. And a large fan. A large fan made of dyed red Japanese aralia leaves can be fit to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Fanning it creates a large vortex of wind, spiriting away those it catches. Divine abduction through an eight handed fan. Once is fine, but twice you'll never return. If abducted, we'll head to Mount Congo at Senpao Temple where we'll perform virtuous deeds. Cool. That leads somewhere. Okay, let's head back. I think we have four prayer beads now as well. Maybe three. Let's quickly check. Um, and then we'll get the new prosthetic. Oh, we have four! Yes! That! Oh my god, look at my health now. Jesus, okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's travel to the dilapidated temple and get this new prosthetic fitted. We've taken on two bosses in under an hour. I'm feeling pretty achieved right now if I do say so myself. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Um, have this shinobi prosthetic, prosthetic tool.
So it forces people to turn around. That'd be pretty handy, I guess. Can we do any upgrades? The answer is no. <laughs> God damn, these upgrades are super expensive. Should I have found more by now? I don't know. Another time then. Aw, oh, thanks dude. Okay guys, well I think I'm actually going to end the episode there because we've made some decent progress. We defeated the gun guy and we defeated this weird spider thing. I really enjoyed the spider fight, I only took a few attempts. So I'm really happy with that. Um, we got some new prayer beads and we could upgrade our physical attributes which was great. We also increased our attack power which I meant to do last episode. We got another gourd seed and now we have five uses. We also cured everyone of dragon rot. And we learned how to do the Makiri counter. I haven't actually used it against an enemy yet, but hopefully next episode we can still remember how to do it. Overall, I think we really made some good progress today. I'm excited for next episode to see where it goes through the door of that temple where that uh, second boss fight was. If you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to smash that like button. If you haven't already, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell and check out all the links in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Try with me